Bandy is here now. And I guess the first question, are there some specific chemicals that we should be concerned about? You know, things like BPA, antimines. Yeah. I mean, we, we, uh, what I would do is this. Yeah, instead of looking at the specific chemicals, you know, if you can get organic food, avoid pesticides, and avoid, you know, putting things in cans. If you can have fresh fruit that's, that you, that's grown either that you can see it grown or you grow yourself. If you can avoid the pesticides and, and, and have organic food, you avoid a lot of those toxins. Mm -hmm. and, but I think you made a great point. It's like, you know, talking about diabetes, you know, drinking all, all the crappy drinks that we drink yeah. and then all the stuff that we eat is much more of an effect than anything else that you talked about there. Yeah, and speaking of diabetes, though, what other signs should we watch out for when it comes to developing it? It's very nonspecific. You can, you can have weight loss or weight gain, energy. Sometimes you lose a lot of energy, dramatic changes in your weight. Uh, and then if you have a family history, really have, look, look for subtle signs of even pre-diabetes. So I, what I would do is if you have any changes in the way your body feels or you feel, get tested. Absolutely. Good advice there. All right. Well, we want to move on to our next health topic now. Right now, we're helping you break down your sugar addiction. So many of us have one. We all know about the negative effects of having too much of it. There's weight gain, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol as well. It can also increase your risk for cancer and heart disease. That said, sugar can be hard to resist. Scientific studies have actually proven that sugar can be addictive. Yeah, I can think we can all probably speak to that, right? It seems like the sugar is in, in everything. everything we consume. So when you take that into account, what's the best way to reduce your sugar intake? I think the biggest thing is that the sugary drinks we drink, right? All the all the pop yeah. that is iced tea, and even even the juices. If, what you have to do is look at the can and, or look at the labels and see if there's any added sugar. If there is, you cut it out. Also, stop ordering, for example, pizza. Stop ordering takeout Chinese. All those have added sugars, simple sugars you don't need. Well, and you don't. You said pizza. People would be like, but that's not sweet, but it doesn't matter. Carbohydrates break down into sugars. That's exactly is that right? right? And they're simple sugars. So, yeah. for example, one of the things I tell people is they say, well, what, what can I do? I said, have, have some cherries. Have complex carbohydrates. Fruits are complex carbohydrates. So, substitute your sugary stuff with fruit, which is a complex carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's absorbed more gradually, and you want something with a low glycemic index not a high glycemic index. A high glycemic index is like juice or a simple simple sugar. Yeah, and you're still getting some of that sweetness, obviously. Exactly. With the fruit. And then people, I, I do not recommend cutting cold turkey because I think that people can get side effects. Some argue that it's not a big deal, but if you get headache and you know some people feel fatigue, why don't we just go gradually? Like your body will just get used to it. So yeah. over time, reduce your sh uh, sodas. You know, substitute with water and other drinks that don't have sugar. And then like I talked about, don't order out. Eat foods inside. Grow your own food. Make your own food. Mm -hmm. Good message. All right. All right. Doctor, you're going to be on at five o'clock too, so we'll be watching that as well. Thank Thanks, you. Dr. Nandy. Thanks.